all right wonderful people welcome back to expose news tv welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as see the hot in case you have not joined our social media handle kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them well, welcome to the news proper i see the hot <laughs> this one is coming from the um Twitter handle of the Prime Minister uh, of the Republic, Biafra Republic government in exile. As he they hot, <laughs> he has revealed how uh, the NIG army done the show pepper. Uh, I mean, how the, the uh, Biafra army done the show pepper to the NIG army boys there. They say their boys don't run. <laughs> I'm reading this thing direct from uh, Maze. Uh, Simon Ebba's handle, the Prime Minister, he said, breaking the Nigeria terrorist state are yet to accept that Biafra Liberation Army are neutralizing their terrorist army and recovering arms and ammunition and many helos. <laughs> so this is the current information now where we say it done ground. Uh, say the, the Biafra Army them boys uh, don't give woto woto to the NRG Army them boys. Uh, not only that they collected woto woto, after the Woto Woto, they collected their Nguaya and also collected their motos and the rest of them. <laughs> uh, and another information, he said the boys them of the NIG army boys and say they don't run, <laughs> say that they run like small children. Uh, you know, say when you meet person way past you, uh, person way be your oga, person way big past you, uh, you get this talk where they talk, they say na foolish person, uh, na you know, know the person way past them. But person where they wise, uh, once you know the person will pass you, you go use style, forget about the battle. And uh, why they write, they say, which king will go for battle, say, you know, go count. Uh, say the person where they come against them, they use 10,000 soldiers, and he himself, and only 2,000 soldiers he get. They say, if that king reason, I mean, go go back king, where we say, he get 10,000 soldiers. And as the matter they be, he be like, say, the prime minister of the Biafra Republic government, now you get the 10,000 soldiers so, and the NIG army them boys, now 2,000 soldiers. <laughs> Who want that? Who want to live in wife? Uh, you marry, uh, have your wife, have your children. They come, they send you, say, make you go inside forest. Where you know, say, now the boys, they camp, they themselves, they know they, that forest past you. <laughs> now there you want to go, go finish your life. Uh, i sorry for you, oh. Uh, make you know, go be the thing where you go to do. Uh, all these uh, energy army boys, guys, uh, when you go there, you know, we'll come back. I hear say plenty of them where we say, uh, then don't enter that forest. Say, make them go look for the Biafra Liberation Army, them boys. I hear say, return was not their case. Say, up to today, <laughs> they see they find the road where they take enter. Whether they, they disappear for inside that bush, I don't know. Whether they something, it gets ground where they fall, I don't know. Because I hear say the other time, and the NIG army carried their uh, war helicopter and talk if we go fire. <laughs> I ask as they fire, the fire, the thing go. The only thing, the thing no even blow fire. Out. The thing come down, come they cut cut a uh, palm tree. <laughs> even like, I say, get to it, him. Uh, man, someone help, but don't put jail where they protect this thing. Uh, because how you go fire bomb uh, from jet? The bomb go land. You no go, uh, you no go uh, pull fire. You go just the cut, cut palm tree. <laughs> which kind this one na juju be that oh? <laughs> okay, which kind juju you they use? Uh, make we know uh, because if to say uh, for the time of um the civil war between 1967 and 1970, uh, if to say this kind juju day <laughs> uh, by now uh, they no go they talk if now self uh, the Biafra people for don't go far waiting they go talk now Biafra for don't they like a uh, United Arab Emirates. Where we say you go, you go to see skyscrapers and the rest of them. <laughs> uh, but this age, I guess I won't help, but don't come with another technology. No wonder they don't call and the dragon. Meanwhile, let's go to another information uh, that Simon Eber has pu put a uh, place on his uh, Twitter X handle, formerly known as Twitter. He said, some past government in exile. He is showing information of some past government who were government in exile. Uh, before they became a nation of their own. Let's go down to that information 
uh, you know, say my work here not to inform you, and without information, uh, you yourself will be deformed because you need information to survive. Some past governments in exile, number one, Privy Council of England, uh, which started from 9, 1649 to 1660. Then Belgian government at Santi Address, this one happened between 1914 to 1918. Another one is Provisional Government of the Republic of Korea, this one happened between 1919 to 1948. Another one is Government of Democratic, uh, Democratic Republic of Georgia. This one happened uh, in exile uh, between 1921 to 1954. Another one is Government of the Ukrainian People Republic in exile. This one happened uh, 1921 to 1992, which was such a long time. Another one is Spanish Republic Government in exile. This one happened between 1939 to 1977 another one is polish government in exile which was this which happened between 1939 and 1990 then another one is estonian government in exile which happened between 1940 to 1953 another one is Lavi uh, latvian Diplo uh, diplomatic service in exile which happened between 1940 to 1991 Another one is Lithu uh, Lithuanian uh, diplomatic service in exile, which happened between 1940 to 1991. Then the last one is Biafra Republic government in exile, which started in 2023 and is currently ongoing. Of course, you know that the issue of freedom is not what comes on a platter of gold. Uh, it's what you have to struggle for, fight for, work hard for, until you see some of these things come to pass. Uh, you know, if you are seeing this government that we are called out here, Privy Council of England, a Belgian government, Provisional Government of Republic of Korea, Government of uh, Democratic Republic of Georgia, Government of Ukrainian People's Republic, uh, uh, Spanish Republic Government, Polish Government, Estonian Government, uh, Latvian Government, Lithuanian Government, uh, you would think that these people, when they got their freedom, it was just, uh, you go to the government and say, uh, Mr. President, Mr. President, we answer you yes. You say, okay, Mr. President, assistance now. Uh, I want my freedom. Nobody, no nation will look at you. No president will look at you face to face and know that uh, you want to secede from their nation and they will just uh, give you a listening ear. No, you have to fight for it. Either by legal, either with your blood, either by barrel, or either by anything. Freedom is always fought for freedom uh, does not come on a platter of gold that's one thing people need to understand and um some people uh, that are fighting for this struggle have failed to understand this uh, some people like um the man that founded Masob when he started having a lot of trouble uh, those people gave up and the rest of them there have been a lot of people who have been in this struggle of fighting for independence no nation even nigeria that got her independent from the britain it was not an easy battle <laughs> you think the battle was easy it was not easy it was both brutal and legal means brutal and, and barrel means brutal and all manner of means many things happened before nandaziki were them tafalo were them uh, aolo were them uh, munitala mohammed them and the rest of them who were able to found today's nigeria so uh, i don't think that um those who are fighting for uh, the biafra republic government uh, should think that it is not an easy thing i think um this is the reason why uh, simon eba is making it known to the people that this is not going to be an easy fight that this is going to be a tough one and um uh, the 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 biafrans who are fighting for their freedom should gather up their lungs loins uh, because sometimes it, it requires hunger. Sometimes it requires, you know, uh, some things. Because there must be chaos. There must be katakata. The Nigerian government will not come out one day and say, okay, dear friends, uh, since you said you want to go, come and go. It will never happen that way. Because number one, of course, you know that the almost 80% of oil that is being used in Nigeria is coming from the, the Biafra land and it's even 70% of the mineral resources 
you talk about the coal is coming from Jaffra. Talk about the limestone. Talk about the 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 the, 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 the uh, what is it called? A lot of these things are coming from this end, and you think that they are going to allow you just to go just like that. You are joking, and you must be playing. Uh, meanwhile, I say kudos to all of you, to all our fans who have been with us here on this channel. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for listening. God bless you.